In 2013, Zachary Clayman de Mello proved he was Canada's best karting driver, and indeed one of the best in the world, as he won a second national championship, this time in Rotax Senior. Now this may appear like any other karting event anywhere in the world, however, if you look closely, you'll see Zachary dominated the race, and he did it against two-time world Rotax karting champion Pierre-Luc Willette and his PSL CRG North American team, considered to be one of the best in the world. Willette never came close. Zachary Clayman de Mello might well be the next Canadian to reach the top in motor racing. Yeah, you know, over the years I learned a lot and I learned how to control myself but also be hard at the same time on the track. So I think it's really good now. I've learned from racing with other people like Pierre Luc and the people I've always looked up to and to be beating them now is amazing. So what does the future hold for Zachary? Well, he needs only to look at 17-year-old Max Verstappen the Dutch wunderkind who rocketed through the racing world and in 2015 will drive for Scuderia Toro Rosso in Formula One. Of course, it is a very big leap between karting and driving Formula One. However, many believe Zachary has the determination, the skills, the proper support and the team structure to make that dream come true. Um, yeah, I was nervous because I knew it was going to be a tough race to appear. Luke, he's won the Worlds twice. And I knew he wasn't going to make it easy, so I was a little bit nervous, but it paid off. In 2014, Zachary Clayman de Mello won a triple crown of karting. He won the Florida Winter Tour in Rotax Senior. He won the Canadian Karting Championship in Rotax Senior. And then in a torrential rain, he claimed the title of Eastern Canadian Karting Champion after a season-long battle of eight events. Add to that, making the podium while racing against many of the world's best at the Rotax Euro Challenge won the Nationals the last two years in a row. I've won the Nationals three times in total. Um, I finished on the podium a few times in the Euro Challenge in Europe, and I've just been really competitive everywhere I went. And there's not been a race where I haven't been fast, and I've always been at the front, so I think consistently we're good and the results are there. During his most recent karting season, Zachary Clayman de Mello continued his brilliant rise in the sport. His career guided by six-time world karting champion Mike Wilson, who previously coached Canadian Lance Stroll, who is now part of the Ferrari Academy. And Wilson believes with the skills Zachary has shown so far, his future is just as bright. I think in Zachary's case, um, as I said earlier, the drive that he has, the motivation and, and the skill, uh, I really, really hope that the boy will be able to make it because, you know, he's, he's, he's just his progress in learning is, is extremely quick. I mean, when I started coaching Zach uh, three years ago, um, I could say I noticed a big difference because it was about a year and a half the last time I saw him, and I could see was, his progress was getting bigger and bigger and bigger. bigger. And this last season, even in Europe, he's, he's, he's been extremely competitive. Uh, he's been racing against the top drivers in Europe, and uh, he's been learning from them and at the same time. Now he's got a lot of respect from them in their eyes. I mean, you know, the, the, the kid's doing very, very well for himself. Mike Wilson over the years has taught me so much, nothing that anyone else could have taught me. I mean, he's accomplished so much in the sport. He's raced with people who have accomplished a lot in the sport. He raced with Senna, he raced with Prost, he's raced with great drivers and he's beat them. And the mindset he brings to me is incredible. The things I've learned from him, from on the track to off the track, um, he's been the role model in racing for me. And, I know he's just done karting, but everything I learned from him, I'll bring on to cars and I'll bring on to every form of motorsports I do. I mean, he's won six world championships, he's very experienced, he tested cars, then he didn't have the budget to bring him further. But I'm lucky to have someone around him like me to teach me and learn to not make the mistakes that he did when he was racing. And he's a very successful person and I'm so happy to be around him. And there is no better example of Zachary's tenacity than at the Monaco Trois Rivières in 2012. Zachary was ranked number two in the country behind Alberta's Parker Thompson. However, he responded to the challenge, taking the pole position and going on to win the race easily as Thompson could do nothing but play, follow the leader. For Zachary, it was his coming out party. He was now the Eastern Canadian karting champion in Rotax Junior. Zach is, is, 
he's really, really uh, got a lot better these last two or three years. He's matured a lot. He's like a young man now, you know, where, where like, you, like you said before, before, yeah, uh, three or four years ago, he's a little bit, a little bit crazy. But I think all these drivers are a little bit crazy in their own way sort of thing, you know. But uh, yeah, definitely uh, the kid is, is on and off the track now, extremely well respected by a lot of, uh, by everybody. For any Canadian, there is nothing so proud as wearing the Maple Leaf. And Zachary, once again, for a third time, will don the red and white as part of Team Canada for the Rotax World in Valencia, Spain. But unlike previous Rotax Worlds in Portugal in 2012 and New Orleans in 2013, this time Zachary will be a favorite. It will also mark his last race in karting, as next year he will be testing in Formula 3. I'm hoping we can go in and win the World Finals this year. We have the speed, um, I have the team around me to do so, and I think the talent's there, so hopefully everything falls into place and we win this year. Zachary has already attracted the attention of sponsors, team managers, and renowned race teams. He is a racer with skill and daring beyond his years. Zachary is both feared and respected by his racing opponents. My other drivers don't like me because I'm fast and I'm aggressive. And I think if I'm fast and other drivers don't like me, it means I'm doing my job right. I have a lot of friends off the track and on the track you have no friends and I think that's the key to winning. And um, people won't like me because I'll do what it takes to win. I think that's more important than anything. Zachary Clayman DeMello, Canada's next star in motorsport.